Yeah, I don't know. I, I say it's not rocket science, but I've been doing it for more than a decade now. So maybe it's just kind of old hat. And I think that everybody, you know, should know these things. But um, yeah, I, I feel like if you've grown up with the internet, you know, you, you pretty well know what people are doing to try to get stuff in front of you. I, I feel like this generation, they know half of what my job is, you know, before they even try to do it professionally, um, which was not the case, you know, more than a decade ago when I was getting out of college. Um, if I was going to interview somebody, I mean, to be honest, I, I'm trying to get away from management. So I haven't thought about like interviewing anybody or asking questions <laughs> like that. Like I, what would I you want, what would you want the person next to you? What would do you want the person sitting next to you in the foxhole? You know, you guys are working on a project, you know, what would you want their skill set to be is a better question. Maybe just enthusiasm and, and genuine care, curiosity. You know, so, so much of my job is learning just, I, you know, when something comes up, you know, about a robots.txt file, oh, now I need to go learn about that. How is a sitemap generated by this particular CMS? Got to go learn about that. Uh, Google rolled out a new image uh, AI API. Got to go learn about that now. So like my job is interesting because it changes so often and I know that anybody who gets into this needs to be uh, just naturally curious and a quick study. Uh, if you're not, then this job isn't for you because you're going to be reading a lot. You're going to be learning a lot. You're going to be teaching yourself new things. Like I didn't know anything about HTML when I first started. I didn't know anything about, well, I didn't know what an API was. What is an API? You know, right. But it's like, these things are foundational to the work that we do now. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's fun to learn. It's fun to work in an industry where every day is different. And especially here, you know, with the, the small, incredibly talented team that we have, I get to work at the edge of my expertise every day and get to learn and grow my skills. And like, you know, it's, it's nice to be able to list stuff out on a resume, but it's nice to be able to just take the things that I do at work and go and take them to do them for other people. So like I help out some nonprofits, I help out some small entrepreneurs, like with like free marketing and things like that. And it's all stuff that I've learned over the last 10 years. And I just find it, I don't know, it's fulfilling to use the skills that I use to make money to then help people. Um, so yeah, th that's, I don't know. I kind of rambled there, but hopefully you got something decent out of that. No, I mean, I think you're, you're hitting exactly on what it is. I mean, I asked what makes a good SEO and you said it's easy. I think the principles uh, of it are fairly simple. It's just that, it, like you said, it changes every year and there's levels to it, right? To do this at an advanced level, you really have to stay, you have to keep your fastball going and you have to unlearn, unlearn what worked last year that doesn't now work this year. And that I think that's something that you have a particular strength in and, and, and several people around you do is that you guys are real quick to unlearn so you can go learn something else. There's a lot of people don't think like that. They're very fixed in their mindset. You guys are like super ready to like throw knowledge out of your head so you can put new knowledge in. That's not everybody's like that. Well, you know, and a, a big reason why we all are like that is because we're very data-driven people. Everybody on the performance marketing team is just like so driven by da data. And, you know, if you don't have the numbers to back up whatever it is you're thinking, that makes it really easy to throw out whatever it was and then, you know, bring in the new knowledge. So, um, yeah, just being very analytical, um, logical folks. Uh, funny enough, we all have the same Myers-Briggs uh, uh uh, initials. I don't, I don't remember exactly what that's called, but yeah, it's, it's funny how, you know, the, the same types of people gravitate towards the same types of work. That's yeah, true. Most of our creatives are intuitive thinkers. You guys are much more logical thinkers mm -hmm. uh, and a few other of the letters that you share in common, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pretty much. I mean, save for a couple. Yeah. We pretty much all have the same four letter designation. So yeah, it's kind of weird. So I know local search is one of your strengths. Uh, is there anything about that that is more interesting to you than other aspects of the search world? Or is it just something that you've done so long, it's a strength of yours and you, you know, you like using a strength? Oh, I mean, definitely the latter, you know, anytime that you're familiar with something and comfortable with it and, you know, uh, that's nice. That makes it easy to, to apply those, those trade or that trade. But um like, I, I guess it gets back to when I first got into this industry, I was working with like mom and pop shops, like uh, people who own their own business that maybe had one or two locations, that kind of thing. And for them, you know, they're really relying on this business for their livelihood, for their kids' livelihood. And when right. stakes are like that, uh, it's a motivator. You know, I, 
I'm not really the most money motivated person, but I am motivated by helping my friends and doing good for other people and things like that. So I, I feel like local SEO kind of leans into that because, you know, so many small businesses that are, are dependent on people visiting them need it so much and they don't even know that they need it. You know, I, I meet therapists and uh, accountants and like other people who are in business for themselves who are just struggling, who are saying like, I don't know how to bring in more business. I don't, I don't know what to do. Like, da -da -da. And I'm like, oh yeah, no, you gotta, you gotta, here's a, here's a list. I actually have a, a document that I send to people now that just has everything. Like you can either hire me to do it and I'll, I'll pay me X, or you can, here's the list. Here's the roadmap, do it all on your own. I just want you to be successful. Um, so I send that out to people all the time. Uh, like, you know, you're at a, a social thing, you meet somebody, you get to talk and you hear that come up and it's just like, oh yeah, here, I'll share this Google doc with you real quick. Um, so yeah, yeah. It's, it's that, that kind of like mom and pop business, like helping that, that is, is, is kind of been, been my big motivator. And, you know, you get messages from people that say like, oh my God, like the, the, the website that you built for me and the, the local SEO work that you did for me, like, because, you know, if you set up tracking, you see everything that's coming in, you kind of know if you're, you're being successful or not, but like hearing people say like, it is because of you that I'm buying Christmas presents this year or things like that, that, Oh, uh, don't pay me a million dollars. Give me that. Give me that all day. Isn't that's the best, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It, it is. It is the best. I, I was, I was chatting with some creatives the other day at work at another place. And they were talking about award shows. And I said, we're not big on award shows because we're so close to the results. Like that kind of fuels our team. Mm -hmm. I said, not just the performance marketing team who are front row seats to this. And, can, you know, it's like a, a game of numbers for them. And they can see their high scores on a daily basis. But the creatives sometimes have worked in uh, for industries or for other shops where they didn't get that feedback. And, man, isn't it, wouldn't it be great to know that when you do X, Y, and Z, that it, it's helping these businesses, sometimes who have very worthy causes, uh, that it's, you know, there's a real value to the work you're doing. It's, it's not, I shipped it and I don't know what happened. Like in our, most of our client bases, we know exactly what happened. I think that's an incredible feeling to know that I'm not just proud of the work when I see it in the wild, but this stuff is working, you know? Mm -hmm. Yep. And having a positive impact on people who genuinely need it. Um, yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing for sure. Well, I love your, I love your checklists, um, that you're sending out. We, we, we try to have similar principles with like the frameworks that we're handing out to other people. It's like, Hey, if you can use these, go for it. Uh, this is kind of how we use it and we can still take that further. Right. I'd love to take that further if we can. That's awfully generous of you to be able to do that for people. Yeah. I mean, uh, I just want people to succeed. You know, the, the world that we live in is so cutthroat for the most part that, and everybody's just trying to compete all the time. Like we'd probably be better off if we all just work together, you know, and that's kind of the, the spirit that I'm coming at all of this with. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like whenever we orient people, we talk about those four values. And I told, I always tell them like the fourth one's most important, helpful, like anybody we're talking to coworker, client, non-client, like just be helpful. If we can be helpful, like good things will happen. So let's just keep doing that. Yeah, totally agree. What do you, uh, native has always been a work in progress. We're always trying to figure things out, improve, um, do good work for clients, try to make a good environment for a team. But what are the things where you feel like we're, what do you think are some of the things that we're doing well? What are, what are the things that motivate you and get you excited about when you think about native? You know, it's probably going to sound cliche, but it's the people that are on my team, the people that I directly work with. Uh, you know, we talked earlier about how we all have the same Myers-Briggs, you know, for the most part, like we all just get along, you know, for the, it's easy to like, or it's easy to, to work a little bit harder, work a little bit longer when the people that you're working with are like people that you genuinely enjoy. Um, so one of the guys that's on my team, I've, I've known him since I was 14 years old, you know, I've known him for almost 20 years now. Um, so like, I mean, shoot, I was the officiant at his wedding. Um, and now like we work together. So it's just like getting to work with my best friend and like get to see him every day. Um, but yeah, like all, all the other people on staff or on, on my team, at least, you know, I'm, I'm kind of siloed save for like the AMs. Um, but yeah, it, it really is that, you know, like we, you know, we go out to lunch, we joke, we have a good time, you know, we buy each other birthday presents when our birthdays come around that whole sort of thing. Um, so yeah, like the camaraderie and, and, you know, like it, it, it's a special kind of bond that gets forged 
when you've got a deadline coming up and you can't move it and you got to hit it. And then you're just like, all right, well, I guess we're all just, you know, pulling the belt a little bit tighter. And we're just going to do it tonight. Um, doing that with people. I mean, it's not like going to war or anything where you develop those kind of bonds. It's like the, the corporate version of that. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to develop those bonds with people. It's nice that they are people that I get along with. So, yeah, I mean, like, like I said earlier, I'm not really motivated by money. It's, it's, going to be the people, you know, it's going to be the people, it's going to be the environment. Um, I like a lot of the clients that we work on. Like I like USA facts. Um, their mission is something that I think will genuinely make the world a better place. And the more clients that we can get who are in that vein, the happier that I'll be. 